a black cab graveyard for an industry nearly killed off by coronavirus. The number of licensed cabs left on our streets has dropped to 14,000, the lowest number since 1983, after a quarter of drivers quit during the pandemic. GB Taxi Services leases out cabs. They've cut rates by a quarter, but still have only 60% rented out. A lot of drivers now have jumped ship and they're working for local building companies, superstores, supermarkets, uh, delivery drivers. They've, they've actually left the trade. So the, the rental side has dropped so much, there's just not a demand at the moment. Hopefully on the 19th, everyone will come back to work, we'll get the city back, we need the clubs back. Dale Forward is back driving full time, but says she's having to work twice as many hours to earn the same amount of money. Oh, it's been awful. Never seen anything like it. Um, yeah, we got locked down in March last year and I just bought my taxi in February. So I had to have a six month holiday break with that and the mortgage because there was just no work out there at all. In fact, I, I still worked in the cab part time, but I had to take on another job being a supermarket delivery driver. Definitely not a trade that's dying. The Licensed Taxi Drivers Association is confident the trade will bounce back. It has been a tough year and, you know, it is a big drop. But sometimes, you know, figures can, can look whatever way you want them to look. So many drivers, one of the options that they've taken is not to get their cab license whilst they're not working. So a lot of them, 5,000 that have come off the road, will be still sat on someone's drive just waiting for work to pick up and then they'll go back out, they'll get license, they'll be back out on the road. So-called Freedom Day, when the last of the COVID restrictions are lifted, is on Monday. And then we should start to see demand for taxi services increase. But with the self-employed equivalent of furlough not being rolled back until September, it could be a long time to work out just how many of these cabs, if any, get back onto London streets. Martin Stew, ITV News.